On the latest update for Windows 10, there's a new connect option inside of the start menu. And I was curious on what this did and I'm glad I found out because it served a purpose that I've been lacking for a while and was the answer to something that I needed. So upon checking out the changes that the anniversary update brought when my Windows 10 updated, I noticed that within the start menu there was a new app program called Connect and it had a symbol that resembled the mirroring of my phone on my Samsung. And whenever I would touch, click to open the program, it would give me this message that said this device doesn't support Miracast so I was confused on why it wouldn't work I did a little bit of research online and figured out that it's because I had to have Wi-Fi adapter on my PC now I don't normally have a Wi-Fi adapter because this PC that I use for my editing and normal function for the YouTube channel I have hardwired all the time so what I did was I went on eBay and ordered this AC600 Wi-Fi dual band USB adapter. I think I spent like seven or eight bucks on it shipped, like really cheap. I figured that if I, it would either work or it wouldn't. Um, luckily, when it arrived, I was able to plug it right into the USB port. It automatically detected and uploaded the driver. And then the next time I clicked on connect, it came right up. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how I got it to work. So if you go into the menu, and I know you really can't see much from where you're at. Uh, if I hit connect, it comes up with this screen right here that says gaming is ready for you to connect wirelessly. Um, I guess I must have named this computer gaming at one point. If I come on my Samsung phone and come down twice and I go to the smart view and click the button, it automatically comes up. So this actually answered a huge need that I had for my YouTube channel because I was wanting to be able to project my phone wirelessly to the computer and I couldn't find a great way to do it that wasn't terribly worked through apps and the Wi-Fi and through the other part of the system. And so far it's been really stable, it's been great. I've actually made a few videos using this technology. I haven't had any issues with it. Open Broadcaster picks it up just fine and I'm able to get it on to the, to the program without much effort. It's helped me a lot. I'm not having to run emulators for all my Android stuff. So if you've tried to click that button and wasn't sure what the problem was, maybe it's because you don't have Wi-Fi on your device. Um, I'm assuming like a laptop that upgrades would probably work without having much problems but if you get a wireless dongle plug it in even if you're not using it for Wi-Fi it'll automatically detect that within the program and allow you to sync up with your phone or whatever device that uses Miracast and the technology that's needed for that um, I figured I would share this with you it helped me out a lot I was really confused at first I had to read a few forums read a few things uh, they did say that you would need a newer wireless network adapter because some of the older ones don't have some of the technology integrated that you would need for that functionality. So make sure that it's something, I'm assuming anything that would be labeled AC, that's not a knockoff, should be able to work because that should be newer, uh, new enough to be able to sustain what you need to do. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I hope I was able to help some people out. I know I was really confused and had to do some research, so maybe this will save some of you the time. And hit that like button if I was able to teach you something you didn't already know. Hit that dislike if you dislike this video, and we will see you in the next one.